Hello and welcome to another video and today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. I would like to share with you uh, some of my favorite skins that I have in my inventory at the moment um, and give you a little bit of a story behind them, you know, how I got them, uh, when about it was that I received them or purchased and uh, yeah, I mean like let me know if you would like to see more of this type of content but uh, without further ado, let's uh, sort of get to it from the top. So starting with the most interesting ones, obviously if we sort by quality, the first one that sort of stands out is the uh, Butterfly Knife Rust Coat. I bought this back in early, uh, in early 2017, 2016, uh, not long after I sold the Karambit Blue Steel, which dropped from like the first season of, uh, of the, ca the case openings um, back when I was doing them daily. And uh, yeah, that that knife has stuck with me since then. Um, had it had it for ages and pretty much played with it every ever since. The butterfly knife is hands down my favorite skin, and uh, this was really one of the ones that I could buy. And I didn't want to have at the time a forest deep DD pad or a scorched one. Those were all really bad in my opinion. Um, so I wanted anything that's really not um, not uh, a green. Uh, butterfly knife and with that I ended up with a rust coat at the time I think it was about uh, 250 pounds the price has now only gone up by like, 200 so uh, I can't really complain about that now the second skin I suppose is the Star Trek Mac 10 Neon Rider this is just one of the drops from uh, from the case openings I think this was in season 2 but uh, quite early on not a massively um, valued skin but uh, it is almost factory new and with a 0 0.07 float I mean, this just became my uh, my go-to play skin. Unfortunately, I don't actually play with it that much, so only have 20 kills on the stat track. Going down past all the uh, service medals and the various drops uh, from trade ups and uh, and the case openings, uh, I think the next interesting one would be the Galil AR Chatterbox. This is, I think, back in 2015, 2016, when I only started uh, playing the game, and I think at the time I was starting my case opening uh, career I would say. Um, one of my friends Voitex donated this to me alongside a bunch of different skins and uh, I don't know ever since then I really like that chatterbox. It's a shame that it's not a stat track because this probably would have a, a load of kills on it but uh, I, I, just, I, don't know, I just feel bad selling this now and, and it's sort of been my uh, main go to Galil ever since even though I have um, I have like be I had better Galils over time. We had the, the Ecos and uh, and a couple of go other good ones, but just never replaced it. The next on the list here would be uh, this uh, M4A1S Decimator with a, uh, a name Taste My Dildo, which I promise that's really not my not in my taste. I I would not have put that in place, but uh, I bought this off of the Steam Market with um, with the idea of making a craft with Ensa Hollows. This was back in uh, sort of late 2018, early 2019, when Ensa was having this really great streak, you know, with Alexi B, Sergey, um, that that sort of uh, tw early 2019 team, and uh, that song just came out when they had the, the big anthem. I think it, it was in Katowice that they played it even during the uh, the tournament. So um, I decided that I uh, I needed an M4A1S as well because that became strong. Um, in the meta, so uh, decided to make it with uh, with some uh, Ensa Hollows, and that's been with me ever since as well. So that's again very low float, minimal wear. It's not really worth buying Factory New, especially because this one doesn't get um, worn really. It just gets darker, and as you can see, quite a few uh, kills on it there. To a company said M4A1S Decimator, I have also gotten a Tech Nine Decimator. That was a, a birthday gift from a friend, um, so Leroy, thank you very much for, for providing that. And uh, I mean, that uh, Ensa meme is never gonna get old for me. Uh, I think if uh, if there was a chance to get more of these uh, Decimator skins, I would definitely buy them now and put more Ensa stickers on them. And just in case that ever actually happens, I do have about 20 of these uh, Ensa Holo stickers. They've not been a great investment, so I have decided that if I ever get really good skins to uh, to put them on, I will not hesitate and just pop them on. Because the sticker itself I think is really nice, it, it fits in with the logo perfectly, the circular logo of Ensa, and uh, I think it's kind of underrated. 
So uh, I'm hoping that now that I will find somewhere to put these stickers since uh, they're not really worth more than when I bought them. Um, which was like back in, again, 2019. Next play skin that's uh, here on my list is that uh, Glock 18 Snack Attack. Before that I think I was using uh, like an off-world blue um, Glock and that wasn't really interesting. But this one ob obviously dropped from one of the case openings. And uh, I really like that skin. It's a, it's a really unique skin. There isn't many sort of clear polymer style um, skins out yet. So uh, this one has obviously a really nice um, DD effect to it. So that's been my go-to for playing. And even though it's really bad quality, as you can see, 0.63 float, it's still a really clean skin and uh, it plays great. It looks great when, it, when it's in game. And here we get on to one of my, again, prides and joys, the USPS Stat Track Orion. Again, I've, I've, I've always been a fan of this sort of orange colored skin. And uh, while these are super expensive, they actually didn't used to be as expensive as they are now. So this one is 0.15 float, so it's just a standard sort of field tested um, field tested skin, although it is quite low float for, uh, for field tested, it's almost minimal wear. And uh, I think I bought it for like £25, I think, like five years ago or six years ago. And again, that's been my go-to USP ever since then. It's a, it's a really nice skin, and even though it is a bit worn, I don't really mind. Then we get on to our AK-47 Jet Set. This is one of my uh, more recent additions to, to the collection, as I did receive this one, well, I bought this one from a friend that uh, lives in Denmark, and uh, he was a uh, coach for a Danish team at one point, but he has now quit CS, and he has uh, decided to sell all of, his, all, of, all of his skins. So he sold me this alongside, uh, alongside some other uh, knives and, uh, and some lower tier skins, which you will see throughout the video. But uh, this definitely is like a cherry on top. We've got the pinup girls on it, which sort of suits the, the stickered pattern that it's got. And uh, one of the Danish players that he has uh, had the joy of, of meeting and, uh, and playing alongside with Magisk. So um, yeah, a really, really cool skin with uh, a bit more history than uh, one would anticipate. Going down the list, we've got the Jewel Berettas Twin Turbo. Um, some of you may know that I'm a big, uh, big Cars fan and I just had to have one of these. Um, I used to play um, Wingman games with, uh, with my friend Leroy and we basically just played Jewel Berettas only and that was our challenge to get to uh, Global Elite with that in, in Wingman matches. So uh, we almost managed to get there, eventually had to turn over to uh, M4s and AKs but uh, that's a, a really cool skin that I uh, I played a lot with. It's a, just a shame that there isn't a Star Trek version of it, to be honest. And now for the biggest meme gun in my collection, hands down, it's the Raise Your Dongers AK-47 Blue Laminate with four um, Dignitas stickers on them. This is uh, a reference to a League of Legends meme with, uh, I believe, I'm a cutie pie. And Skara back, like back in like, must have been what 2014, 2013, when Dignitas was uh, quite, uh, quite high up in the League of Legends tournament um, standings. So uh, aptly ra named Raise Your Dongers. You can see that I've actually uh, ended up uh, racking up 22,000 kills on that. Again, this has this gun has been around with me for ages. Although uh, before that, notably I had a Stat Track Factory new AK-47 Elite build which uh, I have uh, I have moved the stat track over to uh, from into this gun and that was uh, again a drop from a uh, case opening back uh, back in the day and now to some maybe less notable skins we're down to the purple so we've got the stat track desert eagle naga with a 0 0.10 float value you can see quite a few kills there but uh, I bought this one off of the market and it's got um, Got some hollows. No, actually, sorry. These are uh, foils um, from the E League Boston Major. The, they're really nice. Yeah, it's French, a French Deagle. Can't beat a French Deagle. Lower down, we've got some more skins from uh, my friend that has uh, quit CS:GO. So you've got another uh, Danish team, Amas, in here. Uh, I've started playing with that quite recently, but it's a quite, uh, it's a nice, clean skin. And, you know, again, low float value, very clean and uh, very playable. And this Glock 
uh, 18. I don't actually play with this one because of that snack attack, but it is again, as you can see, a Danish themed Glock that my friend uh, crafted with, with love, I'm sure. And now for my trusty M4A4 Evil Daimyo, which uh, has been daily driven up until the meta shift into the M4A1S. So you can see 7,000 kills on that uh, with a nice Apex sticker on it back from Cologne 2015. That was again a birthday present uh, that I have received some Steam funds and decided that a great way to spend that money would be to uh, buy some CS skins. So you can see that's quite low float, 0 0.04, which is really clean, uh, as this skin does get worn when it uh, when it goes to lower qualities. And the next one here you can see is Glock 18 Grinder. Uh, I really love that pattern where you can't see any of the uh, sort of grinder circles on it. It's all black and uh, with red and yellow sort of dots scattered across it. And to sort of match with that, you have a DreamHack logo. This was again a gift from one of my friends, but I can't quite remember who it was from. I think it was from Voitex, the same chap that gave me the uh, Galil. And uh, you can see also I've added an NC sticker because it's also the similar kind of color scheme as, uh, as the skin itself. And more presents from Voitech, you get the M4A1S Brightwater, lovely skin, and you've got some rain stickers on it, which is fitting considering it's a, it's a water-based skin. Then we've got a ton of weird investments that I have made over the uh, over the years, uh, some case opening uh, leftovers and uh, other random stuff. Yeah, there's quite a few of weird investments that I made. I think a notable one would be uh, this uh, DreamHack sticker. 2015. Those actually go for a lot of money for compared to what I paid for them. I thought that they looked really really nice and they would fit with a lot of these uh, sort of high quality orange skins such as the Orion and uh, well uh, my my guess on that was uh, correct because these have risen I think easily uh, more than five times in price since when I bought them. Further down even more investments and failed uh, case openings from uh, souvenir packages but uh, I think there's one more here hiding somewhere that was again a gift from uh, Voitex and I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of these uh, investments, quote unquote. Uh, I'm sure it is here somewhere. Aha, I must have missed it. But uh, this M4A1S Boreal Forest is uh, one last present I uh, I have received. That I can remember that is memorable to me and uh, as you can see it's got some uh, really old school stickers you've got the Vox, Virtus Pro, DAT logos and uh, it's a it's a really nice really nice skin and I think it brings a lot of memories to me so yeah I think that covers uh, most of my uh, interesting skins in my inventory as of, as of just now uh, I hope you can enjoy this kind of content, uh, please do let me know in the comments and why don't you tell me what your favorite skin is, maybe send a, a link through to it and I'll have a look at it. But that is everything for this video, thank you very much for watching again and I will see you in the next one, bye bye!